Alrighty. Thinking since we are all here, we might as well start buffing up. That individual did not sign up. I'll wait for them to do something. Message me if they want in or something, I don't know. Okay, do you guys want to start early today since we're all here? Why not? Yeah, that is the... Hi. That is the question. Hello, 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 hello. Alrighty. So, um, I guess just really quickly for some housekeeping rules. This is hard mode, as advertised, both in the Discord and the world chat, because we did pick up a couple of uh, people via the world chat. Um, what that means is that we will be versing both bosses at the same time. So if you're here for the claw today, I'm afraid it's not going to drop. However, if you are interested in the claw, uh, Murder Mittens does a easy mode run. Um... The first Sunday of every month. So if you are interested in the claw, that is your time to come. All of your Sundays are hard mode. Save for the first Sunday of the month. Um, I do know we have a couple of new time first timers to Emerald Sanctum today, so I will give a little extra explanation to all the like um the mob groups and everything else. But um as a nutshell our master leader today is going to be Hobro. They're also going to be skinning for me today. So if you hear a duck noise in chat, that means that something has dropped. Um, besides that, um, also as advertised, um, mats and such are hard reserved for the guild bank. Save for I am giving a few to a certain individual, just because they've asked for it. They asked nicely beforehand, so I don't see any issues why not. Um, also, the recipe for uh, the Elixir of Greater Nature Power is also hard reserved for the guild. If the individual who hard reserved it is not here, um, then it'll be open to roll. Alrighty, that being said, um, that's pretty much it. Our tanks today are all of the individuals with assist in group 1. I'm going to be marking you all accordingly with your own marks. These are the marks that you will have during the fight. For each of the mob groups, I ask you to please mark your target with your mark and then um, we will pull accordingly. Really quickly, I'm going to do a ready check to make sure that we have all of the necessary buffs needed. While we're waiting for that ready check, I am going to really quickly go over um, the general order of priority when it comes to the mobs. First and foremost, it's always going to be the dreamers. Those dreamers are little fuckers. We want to make sure they go down as fast as possible. Shamans, it is your top priority to put down that Tremor Totem. We love you for your totems, just want to say. For the Dreamers, our priorities are going to be the Wormkin, the Suppressors, the Worms, the Scalebanes, and then the Dragonkin. Um, boss, I just I want to make sure everybody else has all the goodies that they need. I'm normally running around trying to give directions anyways, so... No, it's perfectly fine. True Shot Aura is nice to have. Um, either way, I will give out callouts for our tanks and, you know, what each kind of group for DPS should be going after. Um, but general rule of thumb for our casters today, because I do think we have a couple of new casters. For the Dragonkin, if you see it shimmering, that means it is magic reflecting. 
and so don't hit it. Again, this is hard mode today, guys, so we will be avoiding the first boss, which is Arrhenius, um, until we are ready to take on the final boss, and then I'll go over how that mechanic works then. That being said, everybody seems to be good on buffs, so I'm setting the pull timer. So let's hit him hard, hit him Five, fast, and we can four, be on our way. Three, two, one. If anyone has any questions throughout the fight, feel free to bring it up in voice chat or the regular chat, or even if you're a little too nervous and you just want to whisper me, feel free to. Ooh, speaking of which, I need to put... Alright everyone, first dreamers, and then we'll take down the wormkin. Casters, please do re remember that when the dragonkin are shimmering, that means they are reflecting magic. We do have a scale bane across the water. Um, we can pick that up afterwards, though, just as a reminder, everyone. All right, scale banes need to be pointed away from the raid. They will cleave if otherwise. It also needs to be picked up. Dreamers down first, and then everyone, we need to focus down the wormkin and the suppressor. Rogues, if you see the suppressor, all right, the that worm is pulled as well. If we can get the worm away from our healers and casters, that would be lovely. The worm does shoot a poison volley that can be cleansed. So shamans, poison cleansing totems are necessary here. Big heals on who is this? Hakuna Matata. On Hakuna Matata. The Wormkin does have a poison that stacks, and it hurts like a bitch. Once the Wormkin is down, we'll focus down the Worm and then the Dragonkin. This is true, Alessandro. I get really tempted to, to sing Hakuna Matata. Casters and healers, make sure that you're at max range to avoid the poison volley from the worm. Ah, uh -huh. no thank you. Alright, nicely done everyone, nicely done. Before the next pack, we will be taking a little bit of a mana break. Um, I also would like to pull that scale bane that's marked with the skull. Aaron, I cannot tell you why your hit rate is at 0%, my dude. Were you versing a, a dragonkin by chance? Probably a broken add on. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, guys. Mine seems to be normal, too. 
maybe relog real quick? Or maybe reload the UI? We can wait for you guys to do a relog real fast. You are two of our tanks, so... This gives our healers and casters plenty of time. Ooh, I have a package. Um. Plenty of time. Yeah, I have no idea then, Aaron. Maybe it's something going on. But if we can... Oops. Mommy back? Alright, let's AoE Dreamers down. Harlan, thank you for pricking them up and bringing them back into the group. Well, no, Coin, we were waiting for both Mommy and Aaron since they were both having the same issue. And those are two of our tanks. Alright, I'm going to be marking Arrhenius with a skull, so that we can see him coming. Um, we should be in the clear for this path, but we do need to watch him after we burst the next path. Alright, really quickly taking a look at my healers. Alright, we are sufficient on mana, so I'm going to set a pull timer real quick. Five, four, three, two, one. Alright gang, one. cryo here is definitely the wormkin and suppressor. Let's make sure the scale veins get out of the raid. Once the wormkin and suppressor are down, casters, you're going to focus in on the scale vein. And then melee, we're going to focus in on the dragon. Rogues, if you see the suppressor um, doing a mana drain or a health drain, please do interrupt, or anyone who can interrupt. Casters on the scale vein. Melee, we're going to so focus down on the dragonkin. Melee, remember, the scale bane does cleave, so we want to make sure we're sitting at the base of, or the end of his tail. Nicely done, everyone. Nicely done. Alright, Arrhenius, I believe, is on the other side of the water. So for this next pack, again, we're going to deal, we're going to um, deal with the dreamers first. Pull the worm away from the raid, and then once the worm can and suppressor are down, we'll focus back in on the worm. Shamans, please do remember to put down your tremor totems. Casters, don't be afraid to step back if you need to, to, to avoid the poison volley.
right, we have a path that is over to our left. We are going to be pulling them past the little hill area in order to avoid Arrhenius as he comes by. We will be doing a quick mana break though before that. So for this pack, we will be pulling them past this little hill so that we stay out of sight of Arrhenius. I'm going to set a pull timer, a longer pull timer, to allow our casters and healers to mana up. Five, the lady. four, what? No. three, two, one. Once the Wormkin and the Dreamers are down... I don't know if we have any Dragonkin in this fight. So let's focus Skull down first, and then we'll grab the other skill thing. We're gonna make our way over to the top part of the map. I'd like to take out this dreamer pack first before we uh, make our way over to those other two paths on the left, or excuse me, the right side of the map. Something big drop. No. Oh, something did drop. Never mind. Okay. Everyone, we're going to be making our way over to the right side. There is a little hill that's very, very close to the wall. We're going to be hugging the top of that hill as we wait for Arrhenius to walk by, and then once he is out of range, we will take out that one pack. is over on the other side, so right now would be the perfect time to pull. It looks like we're sufficient on mana. So let's Five, pull the group back. Four, three, Pastures, if you want to make two, sure that you're standing kind of over on this little hill. The green markers, that'd be lovely.
Oh yeah. Can we pull the one scale bane out of the group, please, if possible? Alright, casters, I want you on the scale veins. Melee, I want circle down. Before we move on to the scale veins. Alright, we'll focus unmarked first. Well, I guess they're both unmarked, aren't they? I only have one a square. Alright, casters and healers, start eating oranges now. I'm gonna give you about 10 seconds. Arrhenius is um, pretty much on the perfect side or on the other side of the map. So once we have sufficient amount of health, if you're allergic to oranges, drink your water. Alright, let's pull them back. Make sure we're pulling them a little on the further of the back. Once this pack is down, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be making our way over to the safety cubby, which is at the um, north part of the map. It is by that one big tree. <laughs> I love snowballs. <laughs> Great. Oh, fuck. Alright, Mommy, you'll just have to run in real quick. Aaron, be very, very careful. Alright, everyone, um, I ask you all to wait, uh, I ask you all to wait to rebuff before, or excuse me, until after I'm done with the little monologue. Um, for everyone who this is your first time doing hard mode, welcome. You did the easy mode, easy part of hard mode, which is taking care of all the mobs. The hard part of hard mode is that we will be versing both bosses at the same time. However, we will only be killing Sonius. That's the night elf over there. How this works is that we'll have one tank and a select few healers healing, um, kind of positioned over to the right. Heal bro, I got you. They'll be holding Arrhenius' attention. They'll be keeping him over there. Um while the rest of us fight Sonius. How we're going to break up the groups is the healers that are in group 8, you are going to be attached to Aaron. Aaron is going to be my tank that is going to be holding Arrhenius tonight. So you will be positioning yourself kind of LOS of Arrhenius' sleep abilities. However, you will still go to sleep on occasion, when that happens, you need to call out in chat that you are slept. All other healers, you're going to be positioning yourself in between the main raid and Arrhenius' party. Your main job is to heal the tanks holding Arrhenius, or excuse me, the healers healing Aaron, and the tanks holding Sonius. The tanks that are going to start the fight for Sonius are going to be uh, Malenko 
in Akuna Matata. You two are going to battle for threat for the first 10%, and then once he transforms into um, his dragon form, then whoever has the threat on second will be the main uh, tank for this fight. All warriors during phase three of the fight, because the Sonia's fight has three phases, with the um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Excuse me. So Sonius has three phases. The first phase is last ten percent of his health, so it goes from hundred to ninety percent. That is when he's in his night elf form. He will do um, kind of mediocre damage, but we all need to watch our threat. We want two tanks at number one and number two on the threat meters. After the 90%, he'll turn into a dragon, and from 90 to 60%, we'll have phase two. Phase two is when the dragon will be doing a number of different curses. I ask anyone who can decurse, please do not. Those curses get stronger the more they get decursed. Phase three is when he goes to sleep and summons adds. For the adds, unlike the mob fights we were versing before, the big mobs go first and then the little mobs. The big mobs need to go down. All DPS focuses on the mobs before going back to the dragon. However, warriors, I need you to challenge shout those dreamers away from our healers. If the healers go down, the fight is over. And then once the dragon's back up, it's just a repeat of phase two. All right, monologue over. That being said, let's get all the pretty colors out. This is the tree that I'm running over, Aaron, that I'd like you to hold, Arrhenius. Aaron's healers are gonna be, like, over here. The rest of the healers for the fight, you guys are gonna be in the blue. And remember, healers that are on the blue... Your top priority is to heal Aaron's healers that are going to be over on the purple or in group 8. And the tank holding Sonius. That is it. DPS, take a nature protection potion. You'll need probably two for the entire fight. And um, let's try to prevent adds from going across this green line. Alright, really quickly going to do a ready check. If you feel like you have all of your nut select yes. If you feel like you're missing some, select no. Sonius has a lot of health. This is a longer fight. But if we hit him hard, hit him fast, it'll all be good. Just remember, for the te first 10%, it is low and slow damage. Aaron, would you like a hunter pull? Okay, sweet. Alright, the only person that's AFK'd was Bordis, so that was Bartek. Um, so Bartek, if you're here, say yes. If not, alright, let's get started. Hardland, if you want to pull with Cat Daddy. Everyone, we are not starting the Sonia's fight until Aaron has at least 7k threat. So Aaron, just whenever you're ready, give us the okay. Heels on meme chan. Alright, he's ready, let's start the fight. With my eternal duty, the awakening. Remember everyone, low told. and slow. Long before your kind has existed, mortals. You shall regret setting foot on our hollow ground. Alright, we're coming up on ten percent. On Akuna Batata. Big heals on Neem Chan. Big heals on Akuna Batata. 
Melee DPS, just like any dragon, the face is deadly, so make sure you're attacking that back foot. Big kills on Loha. Big heals on coincidence. Remember, big ads need to go forever. first. Let's point the scale banes out of the raid. Nicely done, everyone. Nicely done. Can we skill and cross mark the two scale banes, please? Down. No, they're not. The two are still up. Yep. Yep. Right, everyone, remember, scale banes need to go first. Let's take the scale bane off of Akuna Matata. Get you to battle res heal bro, please. Fire is slept. Remember, everyone, no cleansing of curses. Before we focus back on the dragon, all of the little guys need to go down. Alright, I think all the little guys are down. Now this is just a repeat of phase two until he's dead. Highly recommended pop another nature protection potion at this point. Big heal high coincidence. Kills on coincidence. the dragon first, the then we will be going over to boost the chest. Arrhenius will become friendly after a couple minutes, He's or a couple seconds, and he's just being a bitch right now. He will hit a couple of poison volleys on his way out. I am the only one 
put it put an end to this. I cannot be stopped. If you are not staying with us for Onyxia, um, thank you all for coming. This is a really good run today. If you're interested in coming with us again for Emerald Sanctum, one second. Ooh, bless me. If you're interested in coming with us for Emerald Sanctum again, um, same time, same place next week. If you are coming with us for Onyxia,